Much like tires on a car, the props are what ultimately makes your drone go. Propellers take the energy provided from your ESCs and motors and converts it into lift and thrust. Without them, a drone is just a loud and expensive electronic paperweight. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the choice of props can make a big difference in the performance and handling of your quad. With that in mind, we take a look at the main criteria to focus on when selecting a prop. When looking at props, you will typically see a number designation. These are usually in two formats. The first uses two numbers for the size and two more for the pitch. For example, a 5040 prop has a size of 5 inches and a pitch of 4 inches. The other common method uses size times pitch times number of blades. Using this designation, the same 5040 prop could also be referred to as a 5 by 4 by 3 prop, with the 3 being the number of blades. Let's take a look at what the numbers really mean. Size is the primary characteristic for quad propellers. Larger props will move more air and create more thrust, but also require more power to spin fast enough. Though there are exceptions, prop size will most often be determined by the size of the frame you're using. Larger drones naturally require larger props. This size is the width of a circle that a spinning prop will make. 3 inch and 5 inch props are the most common sizes for quads today, though there are many smaller and larger options on the market. A propeller's pitch is determined by the angle of the blades. The actual measurement, however, doesn't refer directly to the angle itself, but rather how far the prop would move forward during one complete rotation. The easiest way to think about this is to compare it to a screw being turned into a piece of wood. The depth that the screw will go into the wood during one rotation would be the amount of pitch, and is determined by the threads on that screw. So that 5040 prop would move 4 inches forward if we screwed it one turn into some gel. If you wanted more thrust for your quad but can't increase the size of the propeller, then you would want a prop with more pitch. However, while this will increase your thrust and speed, it will also increase the amount of drag. This in turn increases the current required, meaning the battery can drain faster and putting more stress on the ESCs and motors. With lower pitches, you lose some power but improve the responsiveness. The number of blades means exactly that, how many blades are on each prop. The vast majority of quads perform best with either two or three blade propellers. Similar to increasing the pitch, more blades will produce more thrust but at the expense of drag and responsiveness. Where larger props can be used, bi-blade propellers are popular because of the lower current draw as well as improved handling. These are becoming very popular with high-level racers using ultralight frames. Tri-blade props, on the other hand, have a bit more floaty feel and are the number one choice with most 5-inch freestyle and racing quads. While there are props with four and even more blades, they are most common with tiny whoop racers with small prop sizes. In our opinion, they are too inefficient on most micro and mini quad drones. Another factor that can affect performance is the shape of the propeller blades themselves. The two most common types are pointy nose props and bull nose props. Pointed blades are a more efficient design, but bullnose props can provide more lift. Again, this will also increase the drag on the motors and the batteries. Because of this balance between lift and drag, you will need to consider the suitability of your motors and ESCs when selecting the props. Using a propeller with high pitch, more blades, or bullnose designs can overstress and burn out motors and ESCs that aren't properly suited for their use. The last major consideration when making your prop selection is durability. Let's face it, we all crash. A lot. And the first thing to break is almost always the props. Quality props from a trusted manufacturer will be more durable and give you more flights in the long run compared to cheaper products. Many props are polycarbonate or vinyl carbonate, which are pliable enough to allow you to bend them back into shape after a crash. Your flying style and skill level will ultimately determine the choices you make. Don't be afraid to experiment and try different pitches, materials, and blade configurations, as well as brands, to find what suits you best. Have any questions about props or anything else related to FPV or drone racing? Let us know in the comments. You can also visit the Drone Racing International FPV Facebook group to ask the members your questions or share an FPV video. Be sure to check out ArchangelFPV.com for some exciting racing drone announcements. Look in the description for links. Thanks for visiting Dronocopia, and happy flying.